Uh, good afternoon, my name is Nigel McKenzie. I'm the uh, marketing manager for Combines and Heads for the New Holland brand for North America, based out of New Holland, Pennsylvania. So we're, uh, we're very pleased to announce the, the launch of uh, a uh, new top of the range model, the CR1090 Elevation. It's the highest horsepower machine available in the market. Uh, it peaks at uh, 653 horsepower. It's powered by a Cursor 16, a brand new Cursor 16 FPT engine, um, delivering uh, Tier 4B uh, power and Tier 4B uh, emissionization with a, uh, an SCR only solution which allows us to maximize the efficiency of the engine. The, uh, the CR1090 is the top of a full range of, of combines going from class 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 10. We offer a full range of machines from the smallest class 6 through up, as I say, to our new class 10 machine. One of the most important differences between our prior model year machines is the cab, the new Harvest Suite Ultra Cab. A large number of changes and improvements versus the prior model and all of those were done based on a customer um, analysis program that we have called Customer Driven Product Definition where we use customer input to design and adapt up the products we have. We held a number of clinics throughout the world we held clinics in, uh, in Western Canada, in the US, in Latin America and in Europe where we took our existing users but also competitive users and asked them what they liked, what they didn't like, what irritated them about their cab and then based on that feedback we developed the, um, the Harvest Sweet Ultra cab. As I was mentioning this cab has been designed with customers in mind based on customer feedback so we've done a number of very simple things. Um, our taller customers said they had uh, limited uh, space for their feet so what we've done is we've scalloped the rear of the cab out to allow us to move the seat further back. We've narrowed the steering column and put foot pegs on the side so we have more comfortable seating space for, uh, for the larger operators. Shorter operators um, and often ladies told us that the seat was, um, was too high when they adjusted it for comfort which meant that their feet didn't touch the floor so that we have lowered the, the neutral position of the seat to allow to overcome that issue. To fix uh, a potential issue by lowering the seat we've scalloped uh, and um, uh, cut the front of the floor away so we have a sloping front of the cab now which means that we have excellent visibility to the, to the head and we're not compromising that. Steering column as I said is narrower giving us more space. It's uh, adjustable for two angles and, um, and telescopes as well so um, easy uh, to adjust and get comfortable with it. Some of the changes we've made on the right hand console, the switches we've made more intuitive. So uh, you have a diagram of the combine and then we've put switches where, uh, where their function are. So for instance these buttons raise and lower the grain tank lids. Uh, this button on the rear axle is the powered rear axle engagement. So we make things easy to find. These switches are the direct switches for sieves and fan and concave and rotor speed. Our customers like those from the prior machine so we've kept those um, which allow direct access. There's no need to go through a display to, to find the, those uh, adjustments. Another change that we've made is the command grip uh, multifunction handle. It's common design with our high horsepower tractors, our Genesis T8 and our T9 models. So there's a commonality of feel between customers moving from tractor to combine. It has what we call a force based principle. To, uh, to move forward you push it and hold it forward and while you continue to hold it forward you'll continue to accelerate. Once you get to the speed that you're comfortable with you let it go, it returns to its neutral position but it continues at that speed you've set. To slow down you pull it backwards and it'll slow down and stop um, or slow down until you've reached the speed you want and let it go again. Um, you can shuttle between forward and reverse very easily by holding the button at the back and just going through this gate will allow you to move forward and back without jerking to allow you to top up the, your, um, your trailer and your semi. Uh, two screens as, stand, uh, as an option. This right hand screen on here, the operator can move it to any position he wants to on the, the armrest. The second screen is an option. We're seeing lots of customers wanting to display more and more information. So this option allows them to do that. 
they can choose to put whatever they want on either screen. The screens are totally independent. The combine cab is wired for this second screen. So if they have a second screen in a tractor or a sprayer that they're not using, we use the same screen. They could take that screen and put it up here. As I said, they could choose to put cameras or precision farming up here and their machine settings here or the other way around. If this is the chosen position, the customer could take this machine from here, this display from here, and mount it up there. So he has total flexibility with his displays. We've taken all our controls and put them on the uh, on the right-hand side here, or the remaining controls, our light switches. Again, it's the same logic as we see on the right-hand console. The light switches are located on the combine where the lights are, so it's easy and intuitive to work out but, um, which switch to use. We have a, a road switch and a field switch so the operator can customize which lights he has on for work and which he has on for road and then just pressing one of those those buttons once will take him to those uh, pre-programmed settings. Uh, seats, we have um, three options of seats. This is the top of the line uh, leather trimmed seat. It has uh, air conditioning and heating um, and automatic weight adjustment. The uh, top arranged leather seat also has a leather trimmed uh, opera, uh, buddy seat which folds flat to give you a surface for a laptop and obviously a drink solder here but also lifts to give you access to a, um, an integrated cooler uh, you can take this cooler out so you can take it to the pickup take it uh, home to the kitchen fill it up with beverages or your lunch and bring it back um, it's electric plugged in you have a plug in here so it's very convenient lots of storage at the rear um, and to the side and a couple of nice little features is um, when you're harvesting certainly late into the day we have blinds um, on all four sides so uh, not just the front but also on all four sides as an option as well so lots of attention paid to customer requirements um, and we've addressed as, as uh, the key elements that they asked us to in the design of the new Harvest Suite cab. The Harvest Suite Ultra Cab is available to standard on all the model year 15 combines right from the smallest class 6 machine right through to the, uh, the top of the range class 10 CR 1090 elevation. So one of the one of the unique things about the CR 1090 to make the best use of the power available to it is we fit a system called DFR dynamic feed roll and twin pitch rotors as standard equipment on this machine. But the DFR is in fact is a, a rotor that sits between the feeder and the uh, rotors that was designed primarily as a stone uh, protection system but we've found over the last two or three years that we've had them in the field that we're seeing some major feeding improvements and some capacity improvements by fitting that uh, that beater in the front. So on this machine it's standard to make the best use of the capacity of the machine. Uh, we also fit what we call twin pitch rotors which are a higher capacity rotor on this machine versus the standard rotor. And again that's to take the maximum use of the capacity and the performance of the machine. Contrary to what is intuitive by putting a beater in there in fact our grain damage is reducing versus what we have now is probably recognized as the industry leading best and the lowest um, because we're being uh, we're feeding the rotors more positively and that allows us to be gentler with the rotors reducing the rotor speed and opening the concave clearance um, so we're getting increased capacity without impacting and without affecting the awesome uh, grain quality that we can deliver from the CR combine uh, a couple of other changes worth mentioning I would say is the grain tank we have a 410 bushel grain grain tank that's new for model year 15 with hydraulically activated covers so you can close the covers on the grain tank from the cab yourself you don't have to get up and close them manually as you have in previously and they cover and close the grain tank completely so that you can leave it out overnight without risk of, uh, of getting moisture into your tank because these combines are running with far bigger heads now 45 foot is very common now we're seeing 16 row corn heads being more and more popular we have new unloading augers that give us longer reach now we can comfortably unload on a, uh, a 45 foot head if, if someone makes a 50 foot head we are already got enough unloading length to to manage that one of the challenges with a long unloading tube is it sticks out of the rear of the combine so we have an option where we can fold the rear of the uh, the end of the the tube back behind the combine and that allows us to, to sh uh, shrink or reduce the overall length of the machine. Also available on the spout is a, a flipper that again helps, helps loading and unload, uh, helps obviously unloading the combine and loading trailers. 
we're unloading at four bushels per second so the more control that we have the better it is for the operator to, uh, to make the best use of his semi and fill his semi. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.